Okay, and you guys broke up when? Good while now. Couple months. Post that she made. Um, I thought that those posts were being somewhat malicious, and she knew exactly what she was doing. Um, what exactly triggered that? Um, post? I don't know, sir, because I'm trying to move on and focus on myself. And mm. you're as accusation from when along we will already move on from because it's a regular relationship what's up viewers welcome back to another video today we have Johnny brown speaking out on her past relationship with shakara richardson and also addressing the allegation of her being abusive also letting us know what transpired what triggered the breakup how long they have been in a relationship she basically went the nine yards in this video but before we get into the video, I'm going to ask you guys for two favors. One, press on the like button. It will be greatly appreciated. Also, subscribe that way you guys get all the updates whenever we drop a video. And with that, you help us to grow. So Janet Brown is now back on Instagram and she is ready to speak her truth. So viewers and sub is a very lengthy video. So you guys have to watch it to the end to get the full details. And she's basically speaking about her whole entire situation surrounding the breakup with Shakari Richardson. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. <laughs> no, what are the foolish from? What are you talk, right? Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of things in the media. There's a lot of things that has been happening, um, and people have been reaching out to me to reach out to you. But I was just allowing you to, you know, go through your own timing and things like that. Um, right. Firstly, let me just say to all the comments and to all the people who are making negative comments about your mental health. Uh, if you're on this live, then this is not for you. So if you can just come off, please, and thank you. I appreciate that. You understand? Um, let me just ask you, what has been happening? What do you mean? Like, that relationship? I've been transpiring. There are a lot of things in the media um, as it relates to this whole relationship and this whole toxic relationship and what has exactly been transpiring. Right. As far as I know, I'm yes. in a relationship that I outgrew and mm -hmm. one get the fuck out of there and it's all of a sudden it's a problem is we cannot leave i cannot make my own decisions we can't say where, what i want to be and what, who i want to be with i don't want to be a superstar that's not for me if that's not for me that's not for me well, you guys have been together we have to try with the bad words here because it makes me what, what was that how long now have this relationship been going on Like two or two years. Um, so it wasn't a public relationship, no. You know about me too now, sir. Of you, yes, but I'm asking publicly because based on the comments, based on Jamaicans, a lot of persons did not know about it. So I'm asking, was it a public relationship based on your part, like you wanted it to be public, or it was not made public? To be not yeah. made public to the yes. social media, I know, but in we go in the public regularly, like for like regular people, but just not on social media because I don't care about social media. Well, that menu. <laughs> okay, and you guys broke up when? Good while now. Couple months. Post that she made. Um, I thought that those posts were being somewhat malicious, and she knew exactly what she was doing. Um, what exactly triggered that um, post? I don't know, sir, because I'm trying to move on and focus on myself. And mm. you're as accusation from when along, where we'll already move on from because it's a regular relationship. Also made some claims about domestic abuse. Um, yes. She made some claims that you were being abusive and your family was also um, mentally abusive to her as well. Is that true? Any at all? What I don't know, whatever the family is, that is between them, because they never, they never have a good relationship in the first place. And I was meant, I was abusive once, that there's physical evidence of, and we move on. And I, even after then, I was trying to move on from that, and we still, we still got nowhere. So if it's a, if it's a, some for charge, make it charge and let's go. We would, we would whatever. What we need for the coming out big, no clout. Then. She made those claims, right? And you said that you abused her once, and then you move on, and then you get back together, and everything was good. Yes. Um, the 
relationship was toxic you've also said that um can you explain what exactly is the toxicness of this relationship everybody else argue no you you cover the mic away you say what is the toxic this relationship we just keep on a fight and I blame each other on the, the regular relationship problems sir mm. you know okay um just, and a lot of that where you don't like what I don't like where we okay. where everybody don't like yeah, agree on disagreements regular stuff come think it was a regular relationship okay also right been on social media since 2020 right um you don't care much for social media um anybody who's known you since then or know of you since then know that you don't really care much for it um you're back on social media now is this a way to clear your name in any way shape or form yeah, I can come here so and use my voice and show the youth them say, even though they got through things that the corner, you feel me? It doesn't really matter. They can get out of that. Not because the person of name and status, I don't care about that. It's a regular person. Treat you like a regular person because you're regular. And all that we must just give and fucking get love. That's it. To the people them out here, and I've said it as I joined the live, that um, there are many people who are taking you being expressive and vocal as oh she have got through something or whatever the case is let's just clear that up right right yeah. here i was going through something as i said i find myself that's why i'm coming for the social media and thing you feel me so yeah it's a transformation and i find myself now i look different now so it's gonna be like yo she crazy because different is crazy that's what i'm thinking if i move different you're crazy was the relationship not made publicly on social media because of the pop well of the potential backlash of jamaicans and the homophobia especially in track and field um was it not made public just because of that or you just never did care to post our open social media never care, sir anytime yeah. run as fuck. just do whatever you guys work together i say you post this and be strategic and then but then strategize and we find out and then according you knew that you guys were together then. all your friends and family members knew that you guys were together yes sir um do you also think that the rise in her career because she has kind of alluded um allegedly that this was also an issue in the relationship when she rose to stardom um this made the relationship kind of get more rocky no because i don't give a fuck as i said I don't mm -hmm. care it's and what you do and how much followers and subscribers you have and how much likes you get. I treat you like a person because you're a fucking person. I mean, I give you away other people would not give you away really fucking supposed to get. Right? I don't mind man, me at all, mad things you know what I listen to. And you don't have to answer this question, but were she also in any way abusive to you mentally or physically? Mentally as fuck, all of them, everything, every bumbo club thing. But me they saw a ball and a bumbo club be becoming one of clout. And me no one of likes and views and no man comments. I'm going to deal with my thing, part one. Simple. The, the no new form uh, interest with a lot of persons possibly reaching out to you and a lot of people possibly wanting to know um, what exactly is going on with you you were going through a phase as you stated and you were kind of trying to get yourself right and better um in that process you kind of dropped track and field right right was right. that a toxic place for you yes yes do you want to share anything about that um in particular you know i mean in 2019 you were a record holder national record holder um yeah. in the hurdles so yeah. you were really doing great things in 2021 you also um signed with mvp international that was well last year uh, yeah i really um, don't I mean, really care about all of them things anymore coming out right so but, what was so toxic then about check and field? what exactly happened because when i started when i started going into myself right mm -hmm. i was focused on myself Realize, say this is not what I want to do. And right. I'm for them. And things are going. Things just never there start work out. All of a sudden, we can't do certain things. So I need to focus on myself. Every man, every man, I push me. So I don't want to do that too. Why? Every man, I push me. I place so I don't want to go. That not sound right to me. 
I want to do by yourself. If I don't want to do mix with everybody else, I deserve to know the mix with everybody else. Mummy, not because you want me to run, I go run. I just express myself, people. Other people can relate, trust me. Can you also speak about that, though? Because there are some of us who are parents and family members and everybody around us that kind of try to push their narrative on us as it relates to our career path. Right. right? And a lot of persons can't really understand. Um, once again, you were a very pro prolific I'm not, athlete. I'm not doing great things. I'm passionate. I'm not yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, what I so, You were doing great things in track and field, right? Um, people not understanding that, and people not understanding that. Listen, um, as them know, don't want to do it anymore. Other way, them no, no, no other way. I just want yes. to, mommy, I, I track and feel like it and it I do it. If it not work out for me, I'm gonna find another way. Even if I don't have followers and subscribers and likes and all of that, I'm gonna do it that way. Because that way, I'm happy. What is next for you um, professionally? What do you mean? I just have one. Your journey. Your yeah, I'm here. I'm a follow God and the most. I'm a follow God <laughs> and I'm a follow God and I'm a every day. I've been working on myself every day. I cannot fail. Do you see yourself ever being back friends or somewhat forgiving Shakari in any way, shape, or form? I forgive everybody today. That's how we have a light heart and that's how we can keep on doing this every day. Honestly. I'm not going to forgive you for you. I'm forgive you for myself and move on. That's how you learn. You listen. You learn. I listen. I listen. It's a journey. For the athletes also know who might be going through similar situations like you were going through in terms of everybody around them making choices for them, they're what afraid. they can do. They're not afraid. They're, afraid. Yeah. they're not afraid. They're not afraid. Nowhere else will make no money. They don't know what to do. I understand that fear. Every man I tell you to do this. We finished with a track and field. That is just it for that path. Yes? Wait, what was that? And you're completely done with track and field. Completely, completely finished. <laughs> completely. I don't need it. I mean, um, it's like a free will thing like this. If I, can't, if I feel like I want to just jump in and want to race, why I can't do that? If it's a free will, anybody can do what I want to do. I'm a Jamaican, yes, I'm aggressive. I can't tell you. To all the persons watching, she's not upset. This is how she expresses herself. You understand? That's come on, do it. I want to do it my way. Yeah. Every man yeah. can do it. I want to talk my truth my way. Aggressive as fuck. Final question now. Um, as it relates to relationships, um, would you go back into another relationship, being that the last one was so toxic and the abuse and all of that? Well, I work on myself, sir, and I know yeah. what, to, what to do because I say I learn my lesson. If you may say yeah. something for myself, I'm work on myself every day. If, if so, if so, I'm that God send somebody, I'm going to find somebody then I'm not going to repeat that lesson from the other, the previous relationship as I learned. Well, that is it for me, really and truly. I'm seeing some comments and I think that more persons want to ask you more questions. I'm going to be sending you a DM as well because we need to talk about something very serious, all right? All right, no problem, sir. Have a good day. Everyone, you too. Mm -hmm.